Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at this circuit that I've made. Um, I use this a few times in my projects, especially testing op amps, uh, op amps offset voltage and a few other parameters. Basically what it is, is a voltage plus and minus uh, power supply voltage sweeper. So basically basically what it does, it's got two uh, voltage regulators, LM317, LM337, plus and negative, and we are feeding voltage into their set pins but the voltage is sweeped from zero volt to almost to their power supply uh, rail and what that's, that generates in the output of the LM317 and 337 is sweeps the voltage so whatever we feed in if we feed in zero volt obviously the minimum these two voltage regulators can provide is um, plus and minus 125 and whatever we feed is going to be plus that on the output so let's look at this circuit and try to figure out what's going on. So the base of the, the heart of this circuit is a basic uh, capacitor and a variable resistor to charge the capacitor. Basically that's all it is, is we're just charging the capacitor to the rail via this uh, 100k potentiometer. So that's going to set how long it takes to charge this 330 microfarad capacitor you can use any combinations it's up to you what kind of a speed you want and what you have available to you then we're buffering that into an op amp basically if if we just get a voltage from where the capacitor is charging and feeding into the lm317 it's not going to be very nice and elegant so we're going to feed that into just the normal buffer and we're going to feed that into lm317 to get our positive uh sweep voltage and then what we're going to do over here we're going to get that voltage again from the capacitor charging but we're going to invert it so we're going to go into an uh, amplifier inversion but we're not going to put any gain so we're going to have just a gain of one so it's not going to be anything but the voltage is inverted so here where we get the positive rail basically the positive uh, capacitor charging in the positive rail this is going to invert it and it's going to generate a negative for us so we can feed it into our LM337 to get our uh, negative voltage out and over here we got a simple MOSFET to discharge the capacitor so once the capacitor is charged we can just press the switch and discharge it uh, we got a tactile switch 330 microfarad capacitor when it's fully charged we can't just really discharge it through a tactile switch eventually that tactile switch is going to give out so it's best to just use a MOSFET and then we're going to have a 220 uh, ohm resistor in parallel with that MOS MOSFET um, uh, uh, so, uh, source so it doesn't like you know discharge all of that energy straight through the MOSFET and damages the MOSFET so we're going to just put that so slowly it discharges because that's a lot of energy uh, to discharge suddenly through the MOSFET so that's basically the circuit diagram it's a bit messy but it's just come up with and let's just look at the practical quickly and let's see how that works so everything in the short yep uh, put the voltmeters on and we got here something is not right let's put that down here and now we have as you can see it's, it's automatically charging quickly because i haven't this is just the basic you can uh, obviously improve this circuit to do many different functions so you can have it to be at zero at the beginning and then once you press the switch it start charging but uh, this is just a proof of concept just to show you guys so basically you can see that there's charging so if i hold this down it is discharging the capacitor and once i let go you can see that the rails are tracking and we got the positive and we got the negative and they're basically charging up and going and this is through the lm317 and lm337s we got our charging capacitor here we got our buffers uh, positive and negative buffers here and this is our switch and that's the mosfet and you can see it's charging up and with the lm317 and lm337 you get one and a half amp each on each rail so you can power many circuits with this kind of thing but I mainly use this to power uh, to test op amps and op amps um, uh, offset voltage because as you know once we change the voltage on an op amp the offset changes as well on different uh, different voltages so this is a really good way of testing your op amps and look at uh, character characterize your op amp and see the how the offset voltage changes with varying the power supply voltage on your op amp um, simple circuit 
but very effective, works well. I've used this many times and it's, you can use it for many projects basically. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this uh, video. It's quite simple. This can be improved a lot. You can improve this a lot, but this is just basically the heart of what the circuit can do. You can add timers to it. You can speed up the charging. You can speed up the sweep. You can slow down the sweep, obviously with the combination of the capacitor and the variable resistor. You can have where to start from. So if instead of taking your charge voltage from the power supply, say for instance, you're working on a very um, specific project where the power supply voltage and the voltage of the product you're testing might be different. So instead of grabbing the charge voltage straight from the power rail, you can grab it from uh, another uh, voltage regulator from a 12 volt, from a five volt, and you can charge your maximum charge voltage instead of going all the way to the rail, you can have it running to the five volt, to seven volt, to whatever voltage you want. But this is just a proof of concept that it works. You can see that it sweeps all the way and it works perfectly fine. There's no any funny business going on once these are charging to the voltage, whatever you're sweeping, they work perfectly fine. There's, there's no compromise in the LM317s and LM337s. There's no noise, there's no compromise. It just works exactly as you just changing the voltage with the knob yourself. But this is just automatic. You press the button and the voltage basically follows each other and charges up. And this is the circuit again. Here you are. If you have any questions, you can ask me on the comments. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a quick video. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Until the next video, goodbye.